Dexter plays in the wasteland of Colorado. Welcome back to the wasteland. We're going to be heading on out. I'm going to, I already did some uh, looking around. I, I went back and I talked to the folks over here and they told me a little bit more about what was going on. It turns out this is Andy down here who died. He, uh, he definitely did set everything off by accident. But we are going to head out to Colorado downtown. I'm going to go talk to the sheriff. That's going to be uh, Cornered Rats. Cornered Rats is going to allow me to get uh, the HQ Brig Warden. So as I go along, it's, I, I, I was trying to figure out how do I expand my, my building? Well, you do that by... Um, yep, go ahead. You do that, I, I guess, by unlocking stuff. <laughs> you, you don't actually... It's not like uh, XCOM where you like pick a, pick a thing and say, okay, I'm going to spend some resources doing this. At least it doesn't look like it. And into Colorado Springs we go. What do we got here? Hey, how you do, citizen? How can you be dead? Excuse me, I'm not dead. How did those maniacs even get into the city? Oh, I see what's going on here. Emily? Please. You don't look like marshals. Do you work for the Patriarch? Uh, we're rangers. We work for anyone who needs my it. My boy needs your help. He's going to be executed. And they won't listen when I say he's no killer. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin is all I have left. Everyone else died on the plains. He's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. Please, maybe Watkins will listen to you. Uh, what happened? Why was your son I sentenced to death? Why he was rounded up. He won't tell me. Says he's embarrassed. I know they caught him doing something wrong, but he says he never hurt anyone. If you talk to him, maybe he'll tell you what happened. Sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than your mother. I know that much. That's true. Who's your son? Austin Pease, the skinny boy up on the platform. I can't imagine he killed anyone. We've seen enough death on our way out here. He never wanted to hurt anyone, ever. So what's your our story? Our family escaped the wars in the East. Tried to make our way across the plains. My husband, father's son, my daughters, one by one, picked off and killed. Now it's just the two of us, and I'm gonna lose him too. All right, goodbye. Please. Help my son! Alright, the skinny one you say up here? Dorsey prisoner, Dorsey prisoner, 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 prisoner. Magistrate Watkins, Marshal Pease. Teenage prisoner is gaunt and pale, and his hair is tousled and greasy. His ang face angular with hunger. He stares at the pillories with dread, swallowing occasionally. He sees you staring at him and snaps back to reality. Sorry, I, I didn't. I, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. How'd you get in trouble with the marshals? Made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. <laughs> people here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. And the Dorseys came and gave me some food, and some kindness, and asked me to do some vandalism. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed, so... Here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. Should have talked to her first. You should always talk to your mother. Why'd we're you do starving. it? We're starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorsey's gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. You broke the law. You got caught. This seems like justice. Huh, doesn't sound I like... thought it was too harsh. Yep. But what happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I can't take the chance. 
Well, let's say we can free you. What's it worth? So what's your sentence? Straight tells me it's death. They're gonna strip me down, and tie me to those things, and they're gonna let the cold do its work. I wonder if it'll hurt. Eh, a little bit. Wish I could tell you it won't, kid, but that'd be a lie. Brutal. Got a daring escape plan? No, I was never known desperado. Don't rightly know why I let myself get caught up in this. But if I'm to die, I'd at least like to do that right. I'm gonna do that like a man. Okay. Let's say I could free you. What's it worth to you? a hard man. I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Guess I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work if you'll have me. Hmm. Everything good, I'm useful? Used to hard work around the homestead. And I ain't too bad with a gun, either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. Uh, nope. All right. Uh, see you later. Nice talking to you. This Marshall? kid's going in the pillories no next. No mercy on your souls, Colorado. Uh, let's go over here, Watkins. This dour man looks out at the pillars with an expression of grim satisfaction. His sallow skin pulls tight over his face. His thin lips press together in a hard line. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? Marshal <laughs> Kwan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, you'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. So what's with the police? They are the only instrument of justice we need. Serious offenders die by exposure. Sometimes I might grant a reprieve after frostbite has claimed their extremity. Oof. Death by exposure seems harsh. So you have no other punishments For here? some offenses, we have a work camp on the plains. I don't approve of their methods, but it's outside my jurisdiction. Minor infractions like public drunkenness or disorderly conduct are punished by a short stay in the sheriff's lockup. Or something behind them. Uh... Death by exposure seems oh, harsh. To the contrary, it is more merciful than the punishments meted out by the mountain clans or the gangs of the plains. If we did any less, they would see our nation as weak. And in Colorado, weakness is death. As much as we might long for the world before the bombs, when justice was not so cruel, that is not the world we inhabit mm. and let's be honest judge you kind of like it too don't you no i do not i only do what the law commands and since you're the law around here i guess you're your own boss i Ooh. follow principles set forth at the second founding of this city as you know very well without our laws and the penalties to enforce them we're no better than the Wastelanders. Hmm. Let's talk about something else. Proceed. Austin P says he didn't kill anyone. What will it take to free him? His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey Uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorseys were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. Uh, kiss ass. Not a bad kid. Okay, let's take a look at these. What the Rangers were to pay for his damages and assume guardianship over the boy. He's not a bad kid. He's all his mother has. Kill him, and you might as well kill her. Nah. He's too young for a death sentence. Surely he can offer a mercy. I don't like those two at all. It looks like I'm going to have to pay you damages. You wish to compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses. I can facilitate that. Of That's course you can. That's the price in Colorado dollars. 
Yes. Okay, there you go. He takes the money, writes you a receipt, and jots a note in the battered ledger. He tucks the ledger back in his this robes. This is irregular, but it is within mm -hmm. my powers to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of trouble. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. Okay. Hey, boy. We'll have our revenge. Still here. Not looking forward to what comes next. What? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> you really saved my life and... And I get to be a ranger? Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Okay. Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go down and talk to Mom. Dennis Dorsey lives! He'll kill you all! You rangers are heroes. I'm going to tell everyone what you did for uh -oh. my son. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome, Mish. What do we got going on here? What is that? No, oh, that's not a thing. All right. Hey, Hallie. Mom. Mom? Oh, I. Sorry. Never mind. Can we talk what, to you? Why? What do you want? Uh, we're expecting your mother. Where is she? I, I don't know. We were heading to Colorado Springs with a lot of other folks when we, we, uh, got separated. Uh, I hurried here as quick as I could after, but I ain't found her anywhere. I keep hoping. <laughs> no, please, I just need you to go away. Please. There... There was this smiling lady. She said she had some food. And I could take some back to my mom if I came with her. And next thing I... She was gonna sell me. She put me in a cage. One of her men took me out of the cage. To... To... I kicked him as hard as I could and ran. They didn't find me in the dark. And then I saw some refugees and... Tagged along. Stayed with them till I got mm -hmm. here. Okay. Uh... Bye. A lot of folks were shot down in the street. Refugee. I hope you die slow. Bodies of Dorsey slain in the recent incursion were tossed Bastards. haphazardly in this frozen fountain. Okay. Pile of corpses. Yep, same. Dorsey Marshal scum. deputy, we know him. Taunt the prisoners all you want. They deserve it. Dorsey scum. Colorado citizens. Hey, Murderer. Dorsey. You die slow. The deluge of blood. I is hope you die for slow. Neilius Dorsey lives. He'll kill you all. Feel now? What's that? Patriarch looms over the pillories, surveying the punishment of the guilty. Okay. Bastards! Let's keep going over here. Bastards! We got Bastards! cowardly attack on Colorado Springs. New in town? Did yep. you hear about what happened? This young man is still in his teens. He carries numerous copies of a newspaper, the Colorado Patriot. We hear there's been trouble. Sure has. Dorsey's got into the city, but nobody knows how. They started shooting up the place and killed a lot of people. Then they made a run at the Patriarch's Palace. Oh, but they couldn't get inside. It took a while, but Sheriff Daisy and the Marshals beat him back. Now they're holed up in the Garden of the Gods. Well, some of them, anyway. Others jumped in their trucks and ran for it. Sounds like a good choice. What do you know about Dorsey? Just Dorses? what I've been told. Back before I was born, they were the family that betrayed the Patriarch and tried to take charge of Colorado. Thing is, everybody thought they'd been dead for years. I mean, there's tons of stories about how the Patriarch wiped them all out. Hmm, that sounds fishy. Oh, oh Marshall Station, right over there. You can't miss the pillories out front. Uh, we report the news right here? Yep. I work for the Colorado Patriot, only newspaper left in America. We tell people what's happening in the city and what they should think about it. Oh, <laughs> nice. Great, great. Propaganda machine has survived the apocalypse. Hiding out in the city. Um, so I have a couple of ways to go here. Let's take a look at the map real quick here. So we, we came into here. 
Machine Shop, Boomer Heights, Garden of the Gods. I want to head down this way, I think. Refugee. Refugee shot refugees. I hope you die slow. Refugees up to the square. I hope you die slow. Um, that's an exit. I'm not going to take any exits yet. Uh, this is the. What's the door up here? Okay, let's go up there. Let's go take a look at the door. Guys, where are you? How does it feel now? Okay, I see moving. I hope you die slow. <clears throat> hmm. I hope you die slow. Luca Wesson. Ah, Marshals. Finally. I was beginning to think you were never going to help. Well, hold on now. You aren't marshals. You look like ruffians. Are you here to see the sheriff? Well, I'm first. I've been waiting here on tenterhooks for an hour. Ooh, ruffians. I... Forgive me. That was unkind. I just... I am under considerable duress. My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys and... And the marshals will give me no answers about their situation. They won't even speak to me. Hmm. I must know how the sheriff intends to rescue them. And when... Ah, uh, must seem a bit overwhelmed at that the moment. Be, but my family is one of the leading families of Colorado Springs. We have been longtime allies of the Patriarch and supporters of all he stands for. Surely that should be given some consideration. Maybe. Is there anyone here who would think you should get less consideration than you? Wait. Is there anyone here you think, who think you who you think should get less consideration than you? I. I... I suppose not. We are all equal in the eyes of God, as they say. I am just... frustrated. That is all. It doesn't seem that anything is being done. Hmm. Are you anyway? My name is Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. But now they and my little brother have been kidnapped by those good-for-nothing Dorseys and... And I fear for their lives. Ooh. We are the founding families of Colorado Springs, descended from the survivalists who came together after the deluge of fire and helped the patriarch build a stronger Colorado. I'm proud to trace my lineage back before the war on both sides of my family. So what's going on here? Someone let the Dorseys into town, and the savages have taken my family hostage along with a good many others, and retreated to the Garden of the Gods. Uh -huh. I came here to demand that Sheriff Daisy immediately mount an expedition to save them, but her marshals keep putting me off. Yeah, they're waiting for me. Where are the Dorsey's no again? No good traitors, that's what they are. Used to be hundred families, like us, but rotten. Backstabbers, every one of them. At least that's what my father says. They rebelled mm -hmm. against the Patriarch before I was born, and were driven from the city. I was always told they were dead and gone. <laughs> I've been hearing that a lot. Seems I was misinformed. <laughs> Seems so. We're the Arizona Rangers. We can help you. Okay. Yeah, here. Well, you look capable enough, but I don't know you from Adam. Why, you might be robbers or bandit. No. Thanks all the same, but I think I'll continue to wait on the proper authorities. Frustrating though that may be. Sheriff Daisy, Bastards! I will not leave until you speak I to me. Alright, so we got a door over there. Jailers. Citizen. Drunk. Marshal and deputy. Bastards! Deputy Marshal. Hey, Marshal. Miss West Miss Wesson, could you I'm sorry. I have to talk to these folks. Sorry about that. Are you the Rangers? We were told to expect you. Sheriff Daisy is waiting for you in the back. Thanks, Torres. Anytime, Marshal Kwan. What are you working on? Reports. Lots of reports. The Dorsey okay. raid really tore up the town. Murder, looting, fires. They even attacked this station. Not that they got very far. It's been exhausting. 
Any advance ah, advice? Don't blink. Okay. It's on Marshalls? the back of the box. We keep the peace here in Colorado Springs. Mostly, though, we do what Sheriff Daisy says. Good idea. All right, bye. Thanks. If you've got any feedback, be sure Everybody to Everybody come floor. on in. Deputy here. Let's see. Mar senior Marshal. Senior Marshal Daisy. Let's go talk to a Senior Marshal first. I don't want to speak to you, Rangers. Really? Who knew? You're gonna let me? Ooh, coffee maker. Marshall must go through a bunker's worth of coffee every day. Yep. Uh, so, um, I don't see anything flashing around here, deputies. Yeah, we're look. Basically, we're here to talk. Let's go talk. I should have used uh, me. The, sh the sheriff is a statuesque woman with graying hair, steel a smile. Well, now you must be the Rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses, and I ain't one to turn away a badass, especially at a time like this. Well, that's smart. Is, is your weapon on fire? Hey, lady, you might want to put that out. <laughs> I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey raid, so I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good. And the survivors are holed up in the Garden of the Gods with a bunch of hostages. Oh, excellent. The thing is, I lost a lot of marshals. My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the Garden and speak to those Dorseys for us. Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the first place. Hmm. And by speak... You mean shoot the everlasting shit out of them and save those hostages, right, boss? Quan, I hear you're some fancy liaison now. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he? Anyway, yes, you rascal. That's exactly what I mean. But question him first, you hear? <laughs> ma'am, yes, ma'am. So not after? So, so let me get this straight. Shoot, girl, and, then, and then ask him questions? You think I ain't heard her <laughs> yapping? But I got a couple of 50 other people yapping at me, too. Tell you what, though. Her people are 100 family folks from the fancy side of town, so they got some pull. You can do me a big favor and kill two birds with one stone if you take little Miss Wesson with you when you go to save them. Okay. In fact, I'm going to insist on it. Hey. I need that girl out of my hair. I'll let Lipinski know you're bringing her along. He won't let you into the garden without her. Don't worry. She knows which end of the gun the bullets come out of. <laughs> Excellent. Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. Okay, you got some ammo, perchance? No? No no ammo for me, huh? All right. Hmm. I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshals, but, well, beggars can't be choosers. I am the Miss Wesson she spoke of. Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. You, you said that already. As Sheriff Daisy told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys. And I mean to free them. All of them. So, I am ready when you are. Excellent. What is the Garden of the Gods? It's she didn't say. It's a project the Ward family. A showcase for their know-how. They grow food there using the latest technologies. Colorado Springs leads the world in science, but there are plenty mm -hmm. of places to hide in the garden. The Dorseys could be laying for us anywhere. We shall have to be cautious. Okay, before we go anywhere, let's talk about your combat experience. Certainly. My father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk, and I'm the best shot in the city. Oh, really? it's true. She's a prodigy, all right. Also a pain in the ass. Excellent. Have you ever killed I... anyone? No. Oh. There's no need to worry that I will be shy about pulling the trigger. I promise, strangers, if it is to save my family, I will not hesitate. Excellent. Uh, we don't care how well you shoot. We're not taking the kid to come. Are you sure you don't want to leave this to professionals? I know very little about you, strangers. And even if I trusted you as I would a friend, it is still my family who the Dorseys threaten. I must go. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let's At go. At last. <sighs> Got a gunslinger. All right, what does she look like? Uh, 
awareness, intelligence. She sped up for a sniper build, but she's small arms. Okay. And she's got survival. Okay. But not three. All right. Let's. Well, actually, no. Let's, we're not leaving. We're coming over here. Let's go open this door. What do we got in here? Table. Good cop, bad cop, and the swinging exposed light bulb. Classic! <laughs> oh, God. All right. Let's go over here. Looking. Hey! All right. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Uh, Container. Come on, please, please, please. Give me some 30 out 6. Jeez! What is this place, man? Uh... I, I, I requires level four, huh? Damn it. There's my container. I bet you that has my everything I need. Whatever. Y'all suck. Did I just hear a machine walking around back in here somewhere? I think I did. All right, let's come on out. Um, all right, so from this side... Yep, yeah, we're heading down this way. Let's keep exploring the city. Up here. All right, Marshal Enforcers. This is going to go to Broadmoor Heights, which I really don't need to go to. I'm going to go over here and just kind of peek around a little bit. Young face guard faces his nervous but determined. He steps forward his approach, holding up his hand. I order the Patriarch. Only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. Uh, what kind of authorization do you need? An from the head of a family, or authorization from the Patriarch. Until you have that, the gate stays closed. Why is it closed? Uh, the attack on the city has everyone nervous. Until that's all settled down, Patriarch's orders are in effect. Authorized business only. Hmm. Rodmore Heights and the Patriarch's Palace. Okay. Later. Good day. So let's all, let's all head over here. Uh don't turn it, Martha. Why else would I even keep a shotgun around if and I don't Garden of the Gods is just north of Market Square. Marshal Lupinski Come sarn it. You Dorsey peckerheads, get on out of there. Old man's shouting into the nearby shop, waving a shotgun Hush around. Up now, Josiah, you can't go in there alone. They'll kill you. You think I can't handle myself? I've put down worse than these in my time. Uh huh. Since when? You've been a shopkeeper all your life. She notices you and an expression of relief Will crosses her face. Talk some sense into this old fool. If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed. Yeah, Martha, I got it. What's going on here? Some of those Dorsey bastards are hiding out in my shop. My shop. Finest clothing store in the whole dang town. So I'm going in after them. What? They're too busy. A man should be able to protect his own shop. Uh, why don't you let us professionals handle this? Thank you. Keep an old man from killing himself, will you? Killing yeah. myself? Can't you pretend to have some faith in me, Martha? Especially in front of these soldier types? No, I... I... This, you'll get a nice discount at the shop. Ooh. Assuming I still have a shop by the time it's all over. Well, let's make sure you do have a shop after this. This is important to me. Josiah, for goodness sake. So the shop is probably here. Hey, everybody, come on over. Pile in. Shit, Hotlanders! We thought you was all dead. Back off! Now, why would I do a thing like that? Let me show you how I back off. Shall I? Can I get them moving here like this? Yep, like that. And uh, you are a pistol wielder, so over here. And you are the uh, laser dude, so you can kind of go, go like way over here. And Marshal Kwan, you're here. And then uh, Weston, you're in here. And I'm over here. There we go. Everybody in? Everybody's in. Good. My uncle tells me you're a man of questionable morals mr kwan well Ooh. that's why i'm on the payroll somebody's got to get their hands dirty so good folk like you can keep your hearts clean 
That's not how Colorado Springs works, Mr. Kwan. That's how you work. Huh. I'm sure you know best. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, so what do we got here? We got 83%, 81%, uh, and a killer way back here, which I can't shoot at. But, uh, yeah, no, hey. Oh, we just we just started some fighting. Ooh. All right. Uh, you have three AP left. So why don't you uh, hit this hit the hit the place right here? Okay. Next. If I take a, sh I'm I'm gonna wait to see if I want to do a shot actually. Um. Kind of getting in on this. Seven. This is a three pen. So I go here and shoot you. I missed from there. What in the hell? Three AP. You got seven. Minus thirty percent. Out of range. Out of range. So I have to move. Let's see. If I move up one. Are you now mystically in range? You are not in, in range. Uh, let's see. How much do I have? So I'm at six. So I can go up to three AP forward. And still shoot. 59. 95. Okay. Uh, this is going to take me, what, four AP. Um, I am out of range. So might as well move up by here. And you. You get to go bye bye. Alright. Uh Lucia Lucia. Get over here. Against the uh against the wall here, against the thing. Shoot over at this guy. Nice. Alright, well that means um me, huh? gonna prep and that leaves me what is my chance to shoot back here 44 percent that sucks high big big time oh wait a minute nope precision strike that'll do it yep we'll go ahead nice I like the fact that I uh, didn't uh, didn't lose anything there. Let's take a look. See what we got. There's a mannequin. Hey, he's good looking. Okay, you you are making a pass at it. Okay, fine, whatever. We're gonna loot that tin can. <gasps> no, five six ammo. Whatever. Another tin can. There's a container. Flamethrower fuel cache. I'm sure I'm, I'm sure the owner won't mind me stealing everything here you know RPG rules apply I walk in I get to grab anything I want Ooh, lock pick failure Betty crate and ammo box come on baby please oh shit really whatever whatever All right, let's go talk. You. Phew, boy. Thanks again for taking care of those Dorseys. Say, You're welcome. if you got hurt in that scrap, you should see a friend of mine, Doc Parker. He set up a clinic in the Arapaho garage, just outside the city gate. He gestures and north. Here, a little token of our appreciation. You're welcome. Come on back after we reopen the shop. Okay, I plan on it. I'm going to get my discount, right? All right, let's uh, take a look here. I guess I'm heading up here. Um. Ooh, damage market stall. Buddy, 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 come over here. This here's Market Square. Snapping Jimmy Bob, still standing. Dorsey's or no Dorsey's. You think a little raid <laughs> would stop snapping Jimmy Bob? No siree. Oh, hey, new faces. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you need to restock. 
I hear there's still some Darcy's in the city. There are. What's your story? That's snapping, Jimmy Bob. Thank oh, you. good God. <laughs> Jimmy Bob, you have some used cars for sale? Not that much to tell. My dad was a trader and a good one. And now I'm a trader and a good one. Might seem boring to wander in muscle like yourself, but I like it. Uh, what's that contraption on the end of your stall? Oh, that's my prized possession. A genuine pre-apocalypse fully functional microwave. I can cook up some truly gourmet delicacies with it. But the damn power got cut in the fighting. It'll take the city weeks to fix it. Ooh, let's uh let's do some trade. Let's trade. Let's. Alright, what am I gonna see here? Alright, so I can sell junk. I'm at 324. Okay, so the rest of that's not junk. Uh, 50 cal ammo, 5.62 ammo, 30-06. Yes, I need to buy some of that. Buy. Um, I'll buy, actually, I'll buy 20. Thank God I'm, I'm restocked. Laser sight, barrel mod. Some of the mods might be useful. But I'm not sure if I want to. Well, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the rest of this ammo. Give give give, give me it all. Just give it all to me. How else are we doing here? We're doing pretty good in seven six two. Yeah, not bad. Nine millimeter. Do I need forty five? Yeah, I have forty thirty. Nah, I'm, I'm pretty good on forty five too. I think I'm all right on ammo. Honestly. How much are these mods? Requires weapon modding two, which I don't have. Requires I have weapon mod, modding one. Tape grip handle. A few wraps of industrial tape makes the grip a little bit more tacky to the palm. Gives me a five percent crit chance. Or a cut rifle barrel. Hmm. Minus minimum damage minus four, so it gives me a little bit more wider range. You know, I'm all I'm thinking I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I got what I really needed out of that. Let's uh, head over here. I think the some Billy Bob Joe Joe Free whatever's got it going. Uh, what's going on here? Hey, take a look at what these marshals and Dorsey's got on them. He glances up from those marshals were colleagues of mine. I'm gonna guess you didn't kill him, but you need to put all those valuables back and walk away. Yep. Fat chance. We got guns and ammo now. We don't take orders from Marshus no more. What? That's silly. Taking shelter. Taking the shot. Flanking the target. <sighs> hey! Waiting orders. There they come. That that was rude. Hold on. That was that was simply rude. What do I got? I got one, two, three, four, five guys. Thief, thief leader. So if I go here and I can shoot, let's see. Danny. Three AP. You betcha. Do that. And then, I think you're right here, so why don't you go ahead and shoot this thief right there. He ain't happy anymore. Uh, go for evasion. Dodge on the end. Dodge! Okay, Lucia? I think you're going to go right here. I got three AP. I've got five left. 95% on him. Dead one's better than one dead is better than two wounded. And you're gonna go ahead and evade as well. Alright. You no. Uh let's see. I think Marshal Quan which should be next. I really don't have a great place to be. Go here. And what are my chances here? 
85% of the feet. Yes! Not like this. You don't think so? I think I think it's very good to have you go like this. Alright, you're Professor Higgins. You get to go. You have what? 3 AP, so I can move you one. Is that one AP right there? Two AP. God damn it. <laughs> Uh, 92 on the thief. Yeah. I'll have to call the recruiter. Goonification. Your history. Um, I'm going to go up higher. Go high. Uh, let's see. Dex has got seven. That takes four, so I can move three. I'm going to charge on in. And this dude right here is going to take it, I think. Yep. I'll use Hawk with either a shot or yeah here and we're gonna melee stab oh man all right and turn to engage taking the shot i didn't see that one over there ow lucky made last guy Got messed up a bit, but I think we're fine. I think we're fine from here. Uh, you, who I did not see at first, here. This guy. Evade. No, let's have, not Higgins. Yeah, you. You, you get to go. No, you know what? Hold on. Uh, I think here? That's not, it's too much. Lucia, where are you? You're right there. Uh, shoot this guy. Or, or stab that guy. And then let's move over here. And you can evade. Alright, so Danny. You can go here. I think I have this over here, so I'm going to do this. We're going to shoot back this way. Nice. Uh, this guy and this guy. Nope, nothing, huh? Well, before I do that, then, that means you've got to move. Where are you going to go to? I don't have a great spot yet for you. 8 AP, it takes 4 to shoot. 62, 62. You have less hit points, so I have a better chance of taking you down. Yep. Okay, and then you. I think you're going to come up here and mess this guy up, actually. Nice! <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, I'm glad you guys didn't loot the bodies because now it's my turn. What is this? 45 ammo? Nice. Skeet pump. Some shotgun stuff. Injury kit. And an, a pistol, which I'll have to take a quick closer look at. How's everybody doing? We're doing alright. Uh, anybody else need to be searched? No, I don't think... Well, hey, dumpster. It's dumpster fire. Let's go take a look at it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I don't know who threw the gun in there, but I'll take it. What? Twisted hydraulics. A reflex scope. Okay, and that's a focusing crystal. Okay. Cat litter? Uh, you had to remind me of Major Tom, didn't you? That's just not nice. An intercom for Sans Lux. Apartments. Intercom crackles and a woman's voice addresses What's you. What's the matter with you? Don't you know the city's on lockdown? I'm not opening the door to nobody. Go Ooh. away. Fine, be that way. Sheesh. 
What's down here? Anything? Can I... Can I... Dog. Who's that? A nightclub guard. Aru! Aru! Uh, who's... Yeah, you. Good boy. Good boy! How about you? Nice! And that one? Weehee! <laughs> I got me some doggies, right? Junk diary. What? Okay, do all that. There's not anything there, so why don't we go ahead and move over this way? Aroo! You, how you doing, buddy? Let's uh, have Boss me. said we're closed till further notice. Okay. That's oh, I can hear the thump, thump, thumping going on, man. Not fair. Marshal Lupinski, which is, this must be uh, the door I want to go through. What's over here? Thirty-eight. Well, at least now I'm starting to get some other ammo. That's good. All right, I didn't come through this direction, so let's go over here. Jesus, Marshal. Stay back. Uh, excuse me? Alright, everybody come over here. God damn it! Where are the marshals? They've got their hands full licking their wounds. You're gonna be waiting a while. Back up slowly. Yep. Oh, oh. Fish sticks. I'm gonna have to disarm that thing myself, ain't I? Depends on how fond of your fingers you are. And your arms. There you go. Holy mackerel! Better stay back from my stall. Those goddamn dorses dropped a landmine under it. Uh, we defused the mine. Really? That's <laughs> great news. Here's a little something for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Let's talk to you again. Welcome to the freshly reopened Taiwan Jones's Emporium. We have everything you need. Just for the asking and, well... You didn't hear this from me, Franz, but word is there's still Dorseys all around the city waiting to jump innocents such as yourself. Uh -huh. Be sure to stock up with me, yeah? Uh, tell me about yourself. Ah, you want to hear about the wide open seas, my trusty vessel, the wild waves crashing the shores? Well, sorry, chums. I'm just here to sell stuff. What would you like? Nice. What's with the I ocean ponds? I have no puns? idea what you're talking about, Franz. <laughs> So, do you sell fish? No. No. Wish that I did, Franz. Born and raised in Colorado Springs. Me? I've never even seen a fish in my life. Wondrous creatures, I hear. Oh, yeah, they are. Uh, let me see your wares. Sardine lean. Wait, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Jeez. All right, 248. What do I got? Uh, five, six, some two, fifty. 30, uh, hey, look, I got more uh, more ammo there. I'm not going to actually... I don't think I'm going to go through 36 rounds, so I'm going to wait. Sniper rifle? I'm not that far up. There's a three out of battle rifle. I think I have a three. What, what, how much is this? 218. Wow. They are not joking. Do I want it? Do I? Do I? Huh? Huh? I think I might. Yeah, let's buy that. All right. Thanks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. I don't have any money left. It, it, it took me for everything I had. All right. Oh, I got. I got. I got skills. I do. I got skills. Perk points. Yep. Thanks. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, where is that that rifle? Battle rifle. 
let me just double check this. So if I drop field strip modify equip second, well, yeah. so this one is five to six damage by three, and this is oh yeah, that's a big ass upgrade. You betcha. Let's take that. Uh, and as far as your attributes go, I hit your charisma last time. Coordination? Get some little bit more action points. I think, yeah, another action point would be nice to have. Confirm. Skills. Another automatic weapon for two. Oof. Well, I think I'm going to do it anyway. And leadership for one? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and then perks. What do I get to do for perk? Hmm. Okay, so I get to unlock powerful. Oh, so oh, I get it. Puncturing shot. Punctures through enemies. Anyone in the path doing extra damage. Less benefit from cover. Ooh. Spray and pray. I like the cover. Go for Hunter. I like that. Uh, yep. I won't, go for, I won't go for Hunter. Thank you. Thank you kindly. All right. Next. Attribute points. Um, I need more... I need more max action points. Plus two? Yes, please. Give me more action points. Skills. Confirm. Three points. So, a point in sniper. A point in lock picking. I already saw that I needed that. And I think mechanic. Okay. And then perks. Which is mark a target reduces the enemy's evasion by 15. Mark targets also take 50% more damage from precision attack, precision strikes. Uh, it has no duration, so just marked and they go. All right, well we'll take it. I'm sure I'm gonna find that I'm gonna be uh, <laughs> unable to do without. Okay, everything looks good. Okay, close. And let's see, we're doing pretty good on our points here. And I think, what else is here? I can sell more stuff, but I don't really have it. Pile of corpses. Is this, am I back? No, I'm not back out front. That's fine. Field marshal bodies. Citizens. It's over this way. What? Mama Carter? Grizzled, gnarly as an oak tree, the old round woman scowls at you from under her scarf. Eyes invisible in the face as the more wrinkles in the skin. You got business with Mama Carter? Uh, yes? Ha! No, you don't. Come back when you do. Until then, scram. Wow. Okay, Mama Carter. What else we got back here? Refugees, Tommy Carter. Jimmy Carter, Bobby Carter. Y'all seem nice, but if you got business with the Carters, you I'm should talk to same. Mama. Talk, talk to, to Mama. She always knows what to do. Okay. And hello. Is that mine? Oh, okay. I drove it in here, but I can't go any further. Okay, I get it. What about in here? And I got some Make drug sure stashes. When you get to it, that rust trap, uh, why? Because this station, Jimmy nice. Longhall's planes, he salvaged what he could, turned it into can't okay. wait to be done today. Gonna get my they don't salsa. make them like they used to. Jimmy Longhall, uh, pacer, and I can make this go even faster. Alpha Always Grease, Alpha Grease Monkey, Doc Parker, that's who I was looking for. Time. Linebacker in a lab coat. This doctor's clearly worried, but works feverishly to bandage the bodies, the heads of the unconscious young woman. Uh, anything I can do to help? 
Just treated your patient in They're in bad five. shape, and I don't have the time or tools to save them. Count us. We can. What, what can we do? He sags with relief. Find supplies to return to Doc. Thank you. Okay. The things I need most are a suture kit, an injury kit, and a medic pack. Got that? These folks are literally dying on us, so don't fuck around. Okay. We'll talk more when you come back. What now? Uh. There are people dying right here, right now, and you're trying to get me to leave? What the hell right. are you thinking? Right, right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just saw that. What now? You can patch me up. Yeah, can you patch us now up? Now I can. Sure. Okay. Okay. You're good. Thanks. Good luck. Yep, everybody's patched up. That's great. Um, is there something going on over here? I think I can... Man doesn't appear to much, but he's intentionally focused uh, focused on his leg, white bones. Ugh. Poorly. Jumped out of a building to escape the Dorseys. Didn't count on the... All right. Unconscious body. Barely breathing. Wouldn't... Med pack and saver. Stop. Why wouldn't they... Oof. Badly bleeding man. He needs sutures. It isn't... All right, so now, so here's yeah, where all the things are coming from. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just, a, it's just a flesh wound. Okay, Jimmy, what do you got for me? Haven't White seen raid. you folks before. If you're looking for help with your vehicle, you've come to the right place. This is the, the Colorado Springs Arapaho Station. We got stations all over Colorado, mostly for fixing and supplying our own fleet. But we fix vehicles and sell parts to anybody. I'm the manager, Jimmy Longhaul. That's my crew over there. You need any repairs or alterations to your ride, they're the ones who will put it all together. Best crew in the business. Looks like you also repair people? Yeah. Oh, that's Doc Parker. He needed a place to set up his clinic, and we had the space, so good thing, too. Those Dorseys hurt a lot of people with that little raid of theirs. We brought as many as we could in here, and Doc's been patching them up as fast as he can. Only got two hands, though. Hmm. The best in Colorado Springs, no lie. He was the Patriarch's personal physician for a while. Took care of all the hoity-toits in Broadmoor Heights, too. Kind of pissed us off at the time, actually. Hmm. Nice Arapaho boy taking care of the hemorrhoids of the hundred families hmm. and turning his back on his own people. Came Ow. home in the end, though. Remembered who he was and set up his clinic here. Been serving the working people of Colorado Springs ever since. Excellent. Co-workers, not employees. I only give the orders because I take the orders, get me? Anyway, Fastback's the old one. Been with the station almost as long as I have. Ranch, the tall fella, thinks he's a heartbreaker, but he's the most sentimental sap you'll ever meet. And Pacer is our newest recruit. Don't mess with her. She's ten pounds of attitude in a five-pound bag. Mm-hmm. At the moment, yeah, I guess so. All right, eh? Driving and wrenching has kind of become the Arapaho brand. We pride ourselves on being the best mechanics and couriers in the West. Well, except for those of us who run the stations. We mostly live on the road. The people of the convoy, some folks call us. And we've turned that way of life into a business. Arapaho service stations, Iron Thunder logistics, Arapaho caravan protection, and so on. While other folks were eating each other in the suburbs or fighting over mansions in Broadmoor Heights, we kept to the wildlands and didn't come back until civilization had reestablished itself. And when we came back, we came with services people needed. Transportation, protection, and repair. Been living well ever since. Sounds good. 
Do you hire out Sure we do, if they're good enough. Takes a lot of skills to be better than an Arapaho, though. Okay, what do you sell? Anything for your vehicle. Have a look. Okay. I don't have the cash. Utility kit, trucker horn, a rhino cannon, and a repair kit. I got a repair kit. Now, I needed... Injury kit, medic pack, and I need a suture kit now, right? I think that's what I need left. I need a suture still. All right. I think we're done uh, looking around at the moment. If I'm not mistaken, let me take a look quick at the map. So we're in here. We just came through this spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all done. I think the next thing for us is to go into the Garden of the Gods and deal with that. So, uh... I think uh, you guys can come back and join me there. But until then, we can go ahead and take a look at this garbage pile. And uh, we will catch you on the flip side. Take care. Bye-bye. Creeping through the shadows In the corners of your mind I go with the windows I run but I don't hide I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a.